All new 4K TVs have a smart platform that includes features and apps. Some manufacturers choose to use proprietary platforms, while others prefer to integrate third-party options like Google TV Android or Roku no matter the case. The selection of apps is great, as most common streaming. Apps are available on almost all platforms. All smart platforms offer similar features, and choosing one over another depends on personal preference and how you feel while using it. You shouldn't get a TV. Only based on its smart platform either, as you still want something with good picture quality. And as always, you can check pricing for any of these products in the description box down below. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Number 5. Hisense U6 GEA The Hisense U6 G is an entry-level TV in Hisense's 2024 ULAD lineup. It's a budget-friendly model that delivers better picture quality than most other low-cost TVs, and it rivals more expensive options, but it's limited on. Extra features, it has a VIA panel that performs well both in dark and bright rooms as it displays deep blacks for a great dark room viewing experience. And even in bright rooms, it gets bright enough to fight glare. It comes with Android TV as its built-in smart interface, which has a ton of apps available to download but takes a bit of time to learn. It supports both Dolby Vision and HDR10+, so it can stream your favorite content no matter which format it's in unfortunately. It's limited to a 60 highs refresh rate and AGMI. 2.0 bandwidth, so you can't use it for high frame rate gaming, and it doesn't support any variable refresh rate VRR technology to reduce screen tearing. Number 4. TCL6 Series. The TCL6 Series 2018 is a very good 4K TV for a wide range of usages. It has good dark scene performance due to the full array local dimming, and high native contrast, so blacks appear deep even in a dark room. It's also great for Hey D-Rit. As it has great brightness, although it can produce a wider color gamut than REST 709, it isn't as wide as other great HDR TVs. It also has an excellent low input lag for gamers, and unlike the 2017 TCLP 607, it can flicker the backlight. To clear up, fast motion and interpolate low frame rate content, the TCL6 series 2018 is also known as the R615 or 617. Depending on the manufacturer variant, the TCL6 series is a great versatile TV that offers excellent value. It outperforms most of the competition in the same price bracket and is the best Roku TV we've tested so far. The TCL6 series is a great, versatile TV that offers excellent value. It outperforms most of the competition in the same price bracket and is the best Roke TV we tested so far. The TCL6 series R617 is much better than the TCL 807. The R617 is brighter and also has better darkroom performance thing. To the full array loca, dimming feature and better black uniformity, Motion looks crisper with less blur, thanks to the faster response time, and the better black frame, insertion feature can further improve motion clarity. Number 3. Sony Bravia XRA80J The Sony A80J OLED is a high-end OLED TV that's part of Sony's premium BRAVIA 4K OLED lineup, sitting below the Sony A90J OLED. It replaces the Sony AAHO LAD from 2020, and it mostly competes with other OLED TVs, like the LG C10 LAD, the Vizio LAA D2020, and the LG A10 LD. It comes with the Google TV Smart Interface, which is pretty much a redesigned version of Android TV and has a ton of apps you can download. It has a great selection of gaming features, including HDMI 2.1 bandwidth for high frame rate 4K gaming and it has variable refresh rate, VRR support to reduce screen tearing. The Sony ADJ is an excellent all-around TV with many features and stunning pictures. Quality, thanks to its OLED panel, it performs very similarly to the Sony A90J OLED, except it lacks the XR OLED OLED contrast, pro heatsink that allows the A90J to hit very high, peaks of brightness and HDR, and it's available in a 77-inch size as opposed to an 83 inch for more options see our recommendations for the best oled tvs the sony a80j is an amazing tv for any usage 
It looks remarkable in dark rooms because of its nearly infinite contrast ratio and ability to display inky blacks without blooming around bright objects. This also makes it an excellent TV for watching HDR content, as vibrant colors and bright highlights pop. It's great in a moderately lit room thanks to its incredible reflection handling, but unfortunately, it doesn't get bright enough to fight off more intense glare. The TV is exceptional for gaming as it has HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, VRR support, crystal clear motion, and low input lag. Number 2. LG C2 OLA LED TV, the LG C2 OLED, the successor to the very popular LG C1 OLED, is a mid-range OLED TV sitting above the LG B2 OLED and below the gallery style GG2 OLED. In LG T2 LG2, these C models tend to be the most popular TVs in LG's OLED lineup as they hit a good balance of high-end features and price and have an included stand. Unlike the LG2, OLED TVs like the C2 are self-emissive, meaning unlike LCD panels found on other TVs, there's not backlight, which allows them to display a nearly perfect contrast ratio in dark rooms, with deep inky blacks and no distracting blooming or halo effect around bright objects like other LG TVs. The C2 uses the Weibo Smart Interface, which has been slightly refreshed for 2024, adding user profiles. Among other minor changes, there's a huge focus on gaming features this year, including support for GeForce Now, and it's available in a wider range of sizes than previous models, including the first-ever 42-inch OLED panel, the LJ. C2 is an amazing TV for most uses. Its self-emissive technology is superb for watching movies or HDR content in a dark room. It's bright for an OLED, making it a great choice for watching TV shows or sports in a bright room, and the image remains accurate at a wide angle, so it's great for a wide seating arrangement. It has an impressive selection of gaming features, and at its low input lag results in a fantastic gaming experience. Number 1. Samsung QN90, a Neo QLED T, be the Samsung QN90 AQLED is a flagship 4K LED TV. It's part of Samsung's 2021 Neo QLED LUP, which combines mini LED backlighting with a quantum dot layer to display a wide range of colors at various luminance levels. The mini LED backlighting helps the TV display deeper blacks as it has greater control over its local dimming feature and it also gets very bright, enough to combat glare or bring out highlights. It comes with the Tizen Smart Platform, which is easy to use and has a ton of apps available to download, and the new remote has a solar panel in the back, so it uses sunlight to charge. It comes with a bunch of gaming features like variable, refresh rate, VRR support, and HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, but only on one port, which is disappointing as you can't take full advantage of two next-gen gaming consoles at the same time. The Samsung QN90A is an excellent TV for any use. It's excellent for movies in dark rooms, as its VIA panel provides an excellent native contrast ratio and has a great local dimming to display deep blacks. It gets bright enough to combat glare and has fantastic reflection handling if you want to use it in a well-lit room while watching shows and sports. It also displays a wide range of colors for an excellent HDR experience also. It's amazing for gaming because it has variable refresh rate, VRR support, low input lag, and quick response time for smooth motion handling.